go away within a few hours. So that was one of the trifocal implants. Let's have a look at another implant, which is truly revolutionary implant. It's called Trinova. It's from VSY, a biotechnology company. And this has a sinusoidal pattern on its anterior <coughs> optic. So this is a trifocal pattern, which does not have any sharp steps uh, Detlef, do you think is this an important revolution in IOL design? What I learned so far, because I haven't uh, implanted this lens uh, on my own till now, we want to start a study, a post-market study soon. But um, what I've learned till now is that uh, it tries to be a combination of some kind of EDOF lens uh, trifocal IOL. Um, it seems that the uh, quality of scotopic light uh, conditions could be better. It has a very good performance um, uh, regarding the light transmission. The MTF function seems to be good. And it has also a very balanced um, light distribution. Um, we discussed it already, and I think you can tell us a little bit about your experience that you had in a trial so far. Well, uh, well. Thanks. Uh, I have implanted uh, those lenses uh, uh, at the, since the beginning of this year. I have presented that at the winter ESCRS meeting and I am uh, really a fan of trifocal IOLs. I use a lot of fine vision from Physio, I use a lot of Versario 3F from Bausch and Lomb and I use now also those uh, Trinova lenses from VSY Biotechnology. Uh, from the latest one, a sinusoidal design, one thing which looks or seems to set this lens apart is that patients tolerate much better the residual refractive error uh, after the implantation with this sinusoidal uh, design. So I think that's a great advantage. So let's have a look at the end of the video. So once again, we place the lens into the cartridge. You can use only BSS into the cartridge or OVD, viscoelastic. Both ways work uh, pretty reliably with those designs. And then that's a micro incision, 1.8 millimeter, and we push the lens inside and into the capsular bag. And here is a detail of illumination of this sinusoidal pattern. Uh, which we see on the lens. We can go under the optic of this lens to aspirate the remnants of OVD, aspirate it in the anterior chamber, and once again we can have a look at the detail of this structure of sinusoidal trifocal design with no sharp edges, which I truly believe is something uh, which is changing the world of trifocal lenses or which is going to change. So that's the end of our videos, end of the discussion.